I've been taking some medicine that has some serious side effects and it is causing my speech problem and a lot of problems with my mouth. What led to your having an operation? Terrible pain and couldn't keep any food down, couldn't keep any water down. I had a huge hyaluronia. And what happened after the operation? Um, I went for just about a year and uh, I ended up for the second operation um, in emergency with terrible pain, but it seems to have worked pretty good with me. But the only thing that wasn't working is the stomach wasn't um, emptying quick enough, and so it would cause some gas pain. So he put me on metaclorpamide. And I didn't start getting all these problems with, with my face until a couple of months ago. What was the first thing you noticed in your I face? Was, I was biting my inside of my, my um, cheeks. And then I started biting my tongue. It's hard to eat when you've got a tongue that's all messed around. And I thought it was something to do with the nerves and the depression that I had been suffering from. How long have you been suffering from depression? Since November. I was just feeling terribly down and grief-stricken quite a bit of the time. Do you think that preceded the problem you were having with your tongue? It came about the same time, I think. At that point, how long had you been taking the new medication? Since May. And so I didn't think it was any of the medicines that I had been on that was causing this. When you had consulted your own doctor, did you mention the problems with the... Yes, I, I did mention it, and he thought it was something to do with the depression. And I could see where he would think that, because mm -hmm. he's a very good doctor. So this is the uh, medicine that gave you the problems, is it? I think so. Three pills a day before I ate, but the last couple of months I've taken it two pills a day because I just eat breakfast and dinner. I didn't feel well enough to eat lunch. The um, therapist that I go to for depression looked it up online. She was the one that alerted me, took the pictures for me, the, the printout, and I took it, we sent it to my doctor. When I looked at the sheet that the pharmacist gives you, none of these side effects are on the sheet at all. You have that still at home, that sheet? I think I've got it at home. Yeah, wow. For real? They're not on there, or I would have picked up on it. The surgeon mentioned that he was going to put her on metoclopramide and uh, that helps with motility. Uh, he said that some people have the side effect of having their, their tongue ends up sticking out. And so she was on it for, for a while and there was no evidence of that. And I guess that just sort of went out of my mind. And thank goodness uh, that she has a counselor who's really on the ball. So that's a non-medical counselor? Yes. A psychologist or a...? Yes, yeah, psychologist, yes. You took the last dose of metoclopramide uh, over 48 hours ago. Exactly, yes. It seems it got worse since I stopped. Um, I can't talk right. My tongue is in the way and my teeth seem to bite into all parts of my tongue and inside the mouth and the lips and I drooled a little bit. My hands, they seem to be, um, I don't know, they're doing something funny, the middle finger, when I grab something, or I just noticed that today, like that. That's just happening to it you? It just happens. And I didn't realize that my face was so different from everybody else's until today. Inside, I feel very nervous. 
inside you feel very nervous? Inside, just inside. Recently, or do you think that started when you began to take the medical Past few months. I didn't know if it was a depression or what. Put your tongue out gently. Uh, well, if I can. And put it right out. It doesn't want to stay there, does it? Uh, one more. The antidepressant Ciprolex, 20 milligrams. Oh, right. And what is uh, that supposed to do? The Ciprolex is, is an antidepressant um, and is supposed to elevate my mood and help with a bit of anxiety. Now you can get up and...